NFL Sunday Ticket. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my 8-Court Ninja Foodie Deluxe. And today for you guys, I'm going to make Ninja Foodie Game Day Loaf Pan Low Carb Mac and Cheese. Now the link will be in the uh, description, but you can go to their website um, directly. There it is right there. And these are the carbs and the fiber count there you have it this is what it's made out of for those that want to know all right let's not waste any time cup and a half of elbows all right about two cups of water it doesn't matter i'm gonna drain it anyway so Shout to Flavor Guy one time. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Alright. Got my Evo oil sprayer in the house. I happen to have avocado oil in my sprayer at this point in time. But olive oil will be just fine as well. Alright, we need to put it on pressure. It's already on high. So I'm going to hit time and I'm going to take that. Now, if you're doing regular elbows, you can do four minutes, but because these are, um, these are low carb elbows, I have to cook them a little longer. So I'm going to do mine for six minutes. All right, I'm just going to hit start. All right, guys, I'll be back in six minutes. Alright guys, so this is the cheese I have in my refrigerator. Um, well, I would definitely use sharp cheddar, y'all know that. Um, but this thick uh, four cheese uh, Mexican mix, that's just what I had in my refrigerator, so I figured I'd use it. Uh, we're going to use sour cream, which will be interesting. And we're going to, shout out to the Tar Heels. But unfortunately, um, this recipe calls for this Duke's mayonnaise. Now it has a little, this mayonnaise has... Fun fact about this mayonnaise, it has eggs in it. It has a little twangy taste to it that adds a real good flavor to your mac and cheese. You got to try it out. But shout out to the Tar Heels one time. All right, we're done, guys. So. Same amount in sour cream. I know this looks weird to some of you guys, but it works, I'm telling you. I'm putting a cup and a half of my cheeses. So now I just have to add sharp. I'm going to add my elbows now. And believe it or not, there wasn't a lot to drain from, from the elbows. So that's a good thing. Actually, before that, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more salt and pepper. Well, that should be good. I'm going to give it a mix. Shout out to everybody with their wooden or silicone spurtles. All right, y'all get the point. I'm going to mix all this up. And that's what we're looking like. I know it looks scary to some of y'all, but just... Just follow me here. It's gonna it's gonna turn out fantastic, trust me. Let's go ahead and spray out the pan. If y'all wanted to know. Alright guys, this is what we're looking like. So since as most of you guys know that my Ninja Foodie Deluxe, I just got it like a, what a week or two weeks ago. So I haven't used the oven function or bake function, should I say. 
So I'm going to do it now. Make sure it works. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's I put it in uh, my rack in a lower position and the loaf pan's in there as you see. All right, guys, we are all done. 12 minutes is up. And that is what we're looking like. Come on now. Let me zoom in. It smells fantastic. Let's take a quick spoonful of it and see what we're working with. Yeah, that's legit. Legit. I'm gonna make some quick Flavor God chicken, guys. And I'm gonna show you why in a second, why I call it Flavor God. Shout out to Flavor God again. So this is my pink salt and uh, pepper. Um, Flavor God garlic lovers I used. And I used this uh, Flavor God Buffalo season seasoning and for those of you that are new uh that never heard of flavor god um this basically is a low sodium seasoning um whether you're keto um low carb um vegan this is just a no nonsense seasoning as you can see right there so we're not going to put any flour on it or egg wash and none of that stuff. We're just going to air fry them naked. They're going to have a nice char to it. It's going to be full of flavor. Did y'all look at that? Shout out to Sam's Club one time. These are more green beans than I need, but leftovers is always welcome over here. Following suit. Pink salt, black pepper. Garlic lovers. Let's mix it up. Give it some more oil. Alright guys, this is my Curtis Stone Indoor Grill and Griddle. And shout out to my Indoor Grill group on Facebook one time. Make these beans real quick. Shout out to everybody with their lock and locks. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Alright guys, it's time to eat. The Giants don't play till 425, so it's about... It's about 12.30 now, so um, I have some company, they're going to bring some finger foods, so this is just going to hold me down into my game, and then I'll take it from there, <laughs> but I really want to make this mac and cheese today, so let me give you a closer look at it, guys, looks nice and creamy, let's go ahead and take a bite, shall we, now if you use... And I'm, I'm going to put the original recipe in um, the description, guys. If you use mozzarella, it will be super stringy and gooey. 
Y'all get that, please. So creamy. So good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I'll take that. Mmm. That's perfect. Let's try. Some, yeah, I'll take a bite out of that one. No flour, no egg wash, y'all. Would you bite that? Mmm. So much flavors. So much flavors. Mm 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 mm. Flavor God makes it easy. Have some of these green beans with me, y'all. It's good for you. Got it? Mmm. Crunchy. Perfect. Well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. I first want to give a shout out to Greensboro, North Carolina. That's where I live, y'all. I also want to give a big shout out to Azura for sending me this recipe. Big ups to you one time. I also want to big up my Ninja Foodie Nation group. If you have a Ninja Foodie or if you're thinking about getting a Ninja Foodie, join my group. Come in and share your recipes or do a search and get recipes. Also, guys, I have Cooking with Doug merch. I have shirts, aprons, handbags. I'll put the link in the description for that. If you have an Instagram, look me up there, Cooking with Doug. If you have Spotify or iTunes, look me up. Look my podcast up there. I just type in Cooking with Doug in those platforms and my podcast will pop up. Other than that, that's all I got, man. And wish my Giants luck. <laughs> and even if they lose, it's all good. That's my team. Anywho, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Fame thing. Thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.